I have found the best radio to get started with Mesh Tastic so you can set up your own off grid communications without relying on cellular or internet. So, why is it the best? It's cheap. It doesn't require any tools. You don't have to buy any accessories. You don't need to learn anything or do any research about antennas or radios or even Mesh Tastic. Now, of course, I'm talking about the Rack WizBlock Mesh Tastic starter kit that works right out of the box when you connect the included antennas. And I did another video on it. You can watch it after this one that kind of goes into detail on this. But the problem is it doesn't include a case. So you end up with this mesh tastic radio that's just got antennas flopping around. Um, so you have to come up with something. Now, most people will 3D print their own cases. And if you don't have one, don't worry. I'm going to show you where you can buy a case. But I've looked through so many cases and some of the problems I have from a beginner standpoint is a lot of them require extra hardware, um, antenna connectors, different antennas than what comes in the kit. And some of them are tricky to print because you have to use supports and then you have to like tear the supports off once you're done. I wanted to find something that was completely beginner friendly. I found this case right here. It's a 100% 3D printed case designed by PDX Locks, which I will link below. I absolutely love this case for a beginner because it's 100% 3D printed. You print out these four pieces right here. Again, I'll show you where you can get this uh, if you wanna print it yourself or if you just wanna buy the case already done for you. So everything clips together. It's super easy to print. You don't need any supports at all. Uh, you can put it together right out of the printer. Everything just interlocks. So you have the main frame component right here and your whiz block and your Bluetooth and LoRa antennas just clip right into the frame. Now keep in mind, you can add modules if you wanna add a GPS or one of the other supported Meshtastic modules, you can do that but there's just a groove on each side of the frame. The back part interlocks, slides in like this. The front interlocks on the other side of that V groove and slides in like this. Now you'll notice there's room here for a battery. So if you wanna add a battery, you can. Uh, there's plenty of room in here for the battery. And so that would just clip in right here. And then you just slide it up like this and the battery fits in there uh, just like that. Now, one of the drawbacks with this case is there's no on and off switch. But again, um, looking for a beginner friendly version, I didn't want to have any um, soldering or additional parts or switches or anything like that that you'd have to set up. So I just wanted to find something that you can use with your Mesh Tastic starter kit without having to do anything extra. And then the top slides right in here, interlocks with everything. And then right at the end, there's a click that keeps it firmly in place. And there we go. We have a fully functional handheld radio that's uh, the whiz block is protected by the case. And it's just an awesome way to get started with Meshtastic. You'll see on the bottom here, the USB-C port is accessible. So you can always plug this in uh, if you wanna power it. If you don't wanna buy a battery, you can always power it with the USB. But I just wanna warn you, if you're thinking about using a power bank like this, most power banks are going to automatically shut off uh, because the WizBlock draws such little power. The power bank thinks you know, nothing is being operated and it'll automatically turn off after a certain period of time. Now there are some power banks, they're kind of expensive, but there are some power banks that you can have on all the time. Um, I'll link to those if you wanna check those out. Now the other drawback I will mention is there's no display on here, right? But again, I wanted that kind of beginner friendly where you don't have to solder anything, you don't have to buy any extra parts. Now you don't need a display. I have a T-Beam Supreme here. It comes with a display on here. I never use it because once you have a radio connected to your phone, you can access all of the settings and see all the stats right from the Meshtastic app. So. I don't really find the information that they show on the display very useful anyways, and I'm always gonna have my phone on me um, with how I use a Meshtastic radio, so it's not really a big deal to me. Now, if you do wanna spend more money and get an out-of-the-box product that has more features, Rack just announced the Wiz Mesh Pocket, which is about $100. Um, it includes a display, it includes an on-off switch, it includes a battery, comes already assembled. Um, but again, you're spending more money to get those features. And this video is really about a cheap, uh, fast, convenient, kind of get started right away solution.
So if you do have a 3D printer, you can go to this link uh, on principles. I'll have it in the description below. Again, this was designed by uh, PDX Locks, and you print out the four parts. You can download it for free, print it out, and you'll be good to go. Now, I actually had a conversation with the designer, and he was gracious enough to change the license to uh, allow for commercial use. And I've actually launched a Shopify store called Atlavox, where I've printed out a bunch of these uh, cases. So if you want to pick one up, if you don't have a 3D printer, or if you want this uh, kind of two-tone design, I kind of customized the uh, design output in my in the software so you get this kind of black and green two-tone design so if you like that 20 bucks uh, i'll ship you a case all you need in addition to the case is a Wiz WizBlock mesh tastic starter kit and to help you figure out where to get a starter kit um, i have a page on atlavox.com as well uh, with uh, links to a few different sources um, stock is still a little tricky to find um, and this is exactly what you get and this is what you need for this case. They give you a WizBlock baseboard with the core already installed. They give you the Bluetooth antenna and the LoRa PCB antenna. You get a USB cable and some hardware if you want to um, add on some modules. You actually don't need the hardware at all with this case. Now, just to note, they did actually recently uh, update the MeshTastic starter kit to include a little SMA antenna. The most important thing, uh, if you're in the US, you wanna make sure to choose the 900 megahertz version. So for US 915. But when I look down at the uh, what's included, it looks like they're still including that PCB LoRa antenna as well, which will work great for this 3D printed case. So even with this updated version, they do give you this uh, upgraded antenna, but you would still have to buy like an antenna connector cable to go from the board to the antenna. So I still think that this radio is kind of the best, most easiest way to get started with MeshTastic and WizBlock. Now, one more thing I wanna give you a sneak peek on. I'm actually working on an affordable solar node um, I'm really excited about this because I'm talking with a manufacturer. Um, this is the thing that's cool is this is actually a, a an existing product. It's a solar power bank product. And so the reason why that is so awesome is I don't have to spend thousands of dollars coming up with a custom injection mold. I can just use this existing body uh, and solar panel and just modify it. So that's gonna enable me to offer this at a really reasonable price uh, compared to a lot of other solar nodes that are being sold right now. On the inside, I've removed a couple of the battery banks. I've 3D printed a custom mount for the WizBlock, and I'm gonna have this waterproof USB connector going to the outside. I've got an antenna uh, connector going to the outside as well. Now in talking to the manufacturer, so they have uh, a built-in solar charge controller uh, for you know the kind of original product here. The problem is the output is six volts. Now the WizBlock documentations require uh, 3.7 volts power input here. So I'm actually having them customize this um, charge controller for me to output 3.7 volts. And so I'm also getting a custom cable that'll go from the uh, power output. It's gonna come up around, snake through here, and plug into the board. So you'll have the option of up to four 18650 batteries here. Um, but you know, as you can see, this is a prototype here, so it's still uh, a work in progress, but really excited about this. The other thing um, that I've had them add is a gasket around the perimeter here to just improve the IP rating. So, so this is a four watt solar panel, which should be plenty for the whiz block. Really excited about this. I got the, this custom uh, product label right here. I'm calling this the S4. That QR code is going to go to a uh, website kind of showing how to get it set up and everything. Um, and then I also, so they had a wire coming out of the bottom here for kind of the original purpose of this. Um, so they actually have to custom make a, a plug for me for that. Now you might be wondering why do I need a separate solar charge controller if the WizBlock actually has one built in? Well, the problem that people have found with the built in uh, charge controller is if there is an extended period of time where the solar isn't able to keep up with the batteries and the batteries are completely depleted, 
the whiz block isn't going to restart itself. Um, on the other hand, with this solar node that I'm putting together, the charge controller that they have actually takes care of that. So if the batteries are completely dead, um, it'll focus on recharging the batteries to a certain level before it switches and delivers power to the whiz block, which will restart it. So that is a huge advantage uh, to be able to set this up and not worry about it at all because you know that no matter what, it's gonna restart even if it does um, go off, it's gonna come back online at some point. So I'm really excited about this solar node project because I think I'm gonna be able to get it to be like a hundred dollar product. I, I've seen someone, there's actually someone who has found this exact same product as well on Etsy and he's selling it for like 200 bucks. And I don't think, I don't know if they've changed, I, I don't know, I doubt they've changed the voltage. So it, it, it's actually kind of giving too much voltage to the whiz block. So I'm really excited because I think it's gonna be at a great price point. Um, and I know a lot of people are trying to build solar nodes. I love how compact it is. So stay tuned uh, on the channel as I'm gonna be you know, making more videos as this uh, product gets developed. So if you want me to send you one of these cases, you can go to atlavox.com. And I wanna thank PDX Locks for uh, giving me the license to do that, giving anyone a license to commercialize this. Um, I think it's awesome. And I'm gonna be donating some money to the Meshtastic um, Open Collective Fund. Um, as a result of that generosity. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.